I've never filmed myself opening a box before, and I don't think it's going to become a regular thing that I'm going to be doing. But when I ordered a, a new power supply for my computer recently, and then it arrived, I thought, well, I'm going to have to let people see this. Just to give you some background info, the last few weeks I've been experiencing some problems with my computer. It keeps just going out and coming back on again automatically. It's nothing really dramatic, but of course, if uh, you know you lose work, it can be irritating, and it's especially funny because the computer thinks that the files I had open when it crashed are still open, and it won't reopen them. So that's yeah, like I say, a tad irritating. Um. Now, I'm not a great computer expert, which is, I guess, a bit of a shame since I work with them <laughs> all the time. But um, I don't reckon it's a software problem because uh, I, haven't helped it. I haven't installed anything new and I haven't updated anything particularly. The suggestions in the internet were more the idea it's probably a power supply which is not working properly. Yeah, the computer was put together by a friend of mine in 2016, which means that it's over five years old. So, yeah, power supply going, it's not that unusual. My current supply is, when I just have a quick look, it's a Thermaltake Smart SE 530 watt. So I decided to go for something with a bit more power. Decided to order a Be Quiet Dark Power 12 with 750 watts, um, for which I paid about 180 euros. So, let me show you what came. Well, this is what came. As you can see, it's labeled high-end here. Dark Power 12, no compromise, silence and performance. Sounds very dramatic. And in actual fact, when I open it up then, You can see it's very well presented. Here is a brochure, basically very brief explanation of how to install, compatibility and so on. I won't read any of it because it's uh, apparently copyright and if you reproduce anything, what does it say here? Well, most of it you can't read because it's in foreign languages. But it does say here, you're not allowed to reproduce, disclose and so on. So I won't, but it looks very nice. And then if I lift this up, it reveals the power supply itself. There it is. Looking very swish here. So nicely set in as if it's some kind of swatch watch or something similar. Maybe it looks like how my dad's knives are packed. And that's what the unit actually looks like. You can see the massive fan. Nicely, nicely, uh, Nicely finished, so I'll put that to one side. And then there's a sort of high quality shoebox type box here. I'll take the lid off, I mean look at that, it's really nice. Even my shoe boxes don't look like this. And then we have all the various cables which we need to connect it up, all very nicely packed here. Um, I'll unpack them and put them out and then take a picture of them and then we can see exactly what's there. But apparently, when you replace a power supply, it's not actually that difficult from the point of view of knowing which things get connected where, because all the various connectors and so on, you can, you can actually only connect them to the right things in your, in your computer. So I'll, I'll be putting that to the test. So I'll empty this out, and then we can see what came. So here we have the actual contents of the box, the power supply itself, on off switch on one side, and then the connections on the other side. Underneath is the, is the fan, we've already seen that, but I can show that again. This is actually here, the things you need for, for the overclocking switch. I'll take that out in a minute as well. And then the various connection cables, all very nicely tied. And then uh, that's the power supply, of course. And here we have the a collection of screws for fitting it and also some ties just to kind of keep things nice and orderly. So I'll unwrap these in a moment. 
and then we can see them a bit more in detail. Here we can see the back of the power supply with the with the fan and then the overclocking switch and connecting cables. Those are the cables we've already seen. And then here are the tyres, also some with Velcro and the two sets of screws for connecting it up. So that's everything that came with it. And now I'm going to connect it up and see how it looks in action. So that was it. My new power supply is unboxed, inspected, displayed and installed. I hope you enjoyed watching that. I'm sure it was very exciting for all of you. Please, if you like the video, give me a, a thumbs up. And of course, I would like to assure all of you animal lovers that no dogs were harmed in the making of this video. Good night. <laughs>